Hello everyone. This video would show the easiest way to simplify radicals with variables. And this is the second part. In this part, we are going to simplify cube root expressions with variables. Before we go further, please feel free to check out the description below for the link of the other series of topics related to simplifying radicals with variables. Before we jump into this first example right here, let's have a review on the parts of radical expression. Please remember that these are the parts of every radical expression. The first part is the radical symbol. The reason why this is called radical expression is because it is an expression that contains the radical symbol. Our A here is called a coefficient. A coefficient is a number multiplied to the radical expression. And the letter N here is called the index. This tells you which root you're looking for. Please remember that if the value of the index is not written in there, it means that that invisible number is 2. We also have a letter C, and this letter C is named as the radicand. A radicand is the value that you are taking the root of. So this expression that we have here is read as A times the nth root of C. Okay, going back to the problem right here, in order that we can simplify this cube root expression with variables right here, the first step is to expand the given expression. So I'm going to go ahead and write the radical symbol right here. So that is cube root. So we're going to write 3 here. And the again, the first step is to expand it. We're going to start with 24. So we're going to expand 24. So when we expand 24, we're supposed to determine its prime factors. So what I would do is the trick is that we write the 24. 24 goes with 2, so we divide it by 2, so that would be 2 times 12. And so 12 goes by 2 as well, so we're going to um, divide it by 2, so that would be 2 times 6. And 6 is uh, divisible by 2, so that would be 2 times 3. So these numbers that we have here are the prime factors of 24. So I go ahead and write these numbers right here. So there's like three twos. So that would be two times two times two. And then we have a three. And then we also expand this um, variable that we have here. That's x to the seventh. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So again, that's the first step. We expanded it. The second step is to group the expanded form based on the index. Since our index here is 3, we are going to group this um, expanded form here into groups of 3. That means there are three 2's here, so we can take that as one group here. And then 3 is just by itself, so we can't have a group of 3 here. But we have three X's here, so we can take that as one group here. And then we have another th uh, three X's. We can take that as another one group of X. Now we remember that once we group them together, the ones that have been grouped together, they will be placed or written outside the radical symbol. So there's one group of three twos. So I'm going to write two here times. There's also another three X's. So I'm going to write just that as just X. And then we have another three X's grouped together. So I'm going to write that as um, one X. Again, we remember we grouped them into three because the index was three. And whatever is left inside the radical, we write it inside the radical. So that would be three and then we have one X left over so that we can go ahead and simplify this as two. And then there are two, there's two X's. So that would be two X squared, whether there's a three here. And then that is um, the cube root of three X. So this is the simplified version of the cube root of 24 X to the seventh. Again, looking at this, we remember that this two um, came from this three twos here, this X here from this three X's, and this X here comes from the three X's, and this is these are the leftover, the ones that uh, can't form into a group of three, so we write it inside the radical. Now, we also remember that we assume that in these problems, the, the variables are having a positive value. Now let's move on to the next example. 
At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to expand the given expression. So I'm gonna go ahead and write the radical symbol right here. This is um, cube root here. So we're gonna um, expand 80 to its prime factor. So I'm gonna go ahead and show that work on the side here. Okay, so what I did here was I divided 80 into 2, so that is 40 times 2. And then I divided 40 by 2, so that's 20 times 2. And then I divided 20 by 2, so that's 10 times 2. And then I divided 10 by 2, so that is 5 times 2. So these are the factors of, or the prime factors of 80. So I'm going to go ahead and write that um, prime factors on the um, as the uh, radicand right here. Okay, I also have to write or expand this x squared and y to the fifth. Okay, the next step is to group the expanded form based on the index. Since our index is three, so we're going to come up a group of three. So this is one group right here. And then this is another group right here. And these are the ones that we can group because these ones don't have a, a group of three X's, we cannot come up with a three Y. So these are the only ones that we can um, group together. So the next step here is to, um, once we have grouped them together, we write this group, we represent this as two here and we write it outside the radical symbol. And then this Y here, we represent it as one and we write it outside the radical symbol. And then this is a cube root of, the leftover will be written inside the radical symbol right here. So that is 2 times 5 times x times x times y times y. And so again, we remember that this 2 here comes from this group of 2 since it's a group of 3. So I just write 1 there, 1, 2. And then this is a group of 3y. So I write y here. And these are the leftovers. I just uh, wrote it inside the radical symbol. So we can go ahead and simplify this as 2y cube root of, that's gonna be um, 2 times 5 is 10, x squared and y squared. So this is the simplified version of the cube root of 80x squared y to the fifth. Did you get the same answer as this? Yeah. Good. Perfect. Now let's move on to the next example. At this time, I would encourage you to pause this video and try this problem out on your own. And when you're done, unpause it and check your answer. Okay, so we go over the problem here. Again, the first step is to expand the given expression. So I'm going to go ahead and write that uh, radical symbol right here. So that's a cube root. We're going to expand 162 first to its prime factors. I'm going to show the work on the side here. Okay, so these are the prime factors of 162. So I'm going to go ahead and write those uh, prime factors right here. And I also have to write the, or I also have to expand this x to the fourth, y to the fifth, and z to the eighth. Okay, so I expanded them already. The next step is to make a group of three based on the index here. So I go ahead and make a group of three. So this is one um, group of threes, and then this is another three X's. We take it as one group. This is another three Y's, and this is uh, one group of three Z's, one group of three Z's here. So I go ahead and remember, we are going to write those group outside the uh, radical symbol. So there's like a three there, and then this represents the three. We also have an X. And then we also have a Y. And then we also have another Z and another group of Z. So again, we got these from here. So that's a group of three threes. That's a group of three X's. That's a group of three Y's. That's a group of three Z's. And that's a group of three Z's. And whatever's the leftover, we write it under the radical symbol. So that would be two. We have a three. 
and then we have an x we have a two y's left over we have two z's left over so we go ahead and simplify this So this is the simplified version of the cube root of 162, x to the fourth, y to the fifth, the z to the eighth. Did you get the same answer as this? Yay! Good. Perfect. If you found this video helpful, hit like and subscribe for more math videos. See ya.